what is going on guys Jay here and I'm bringing you guys my second PO battle and uh, this is also a UU match uh, most of these PO battles will be UU since um, I kind of I suck at UU and I wanted to get better um, but yeah also stay tuned for a weird weird battle that I had it's not it wasn't really so much as weird it was so much as um, basically I was using a UU team and I, my opponent was using an OU team because Smogon the Smogon server decided to be fucking pricks on April Fool's Day or something and change up the tiers to where three of my Pokemon were banned in UU, so I had to play OU. But anyway, as you can see from my opponent's team, he has a fucking Zatu. And as you know, Zatus have magic bounce, so I can't really set up my rocks early game. Uh, at least I don't think I do in this game. But um, let's just go ahead and play it back anyway. So as I'm going to lead off my Azelf, he's going to lead off with his uh, Azumarill. And I, I think I U-turn right out of here. Um, obviously, obvious Aqua Jet is obvious, but you know, I just wanted to see how much damage it would do, and I just wanted U turn out. Um, I could have easily switched into Suicune manually, but I was like, nah, let's just go for the U turn. And uh, he did break my sash. I really don't care anymore. I, I don't, you know, it's just, it just doesn't even matter to me. Uh, plus, I wanted, um, well, I don't even know. I, I don't know why I did that, really. I mean, that was probably a dumb play by me. I should have just manually switched out. But um, he brings in Chandelure um, uh, on my Suicune, and I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna stay in, go for the Scald. I knew that he had Energy Ball, and I figured he would go for it, but I didn't think that he would get a fucking critical hit. So because of that critical hit, um, I'm I'm assuming he's gonna go for another Energy Ball. So I'm just gonna switch out, and switch to my um, Rotom because I don't want my Suicune dying just yet. And uh, he does just that. He goes for the Energy Ball um, on my Rotom, so that's pretty cool. But now he's going to predict me to go for the Volt Switch. He's going to switch into his Needle Queen. Great play by him because obvious Volt Switch is fucking obvious. So, um, yeah. So, uh, the reason why I stay in here is because I figured he was going to try to set up his, uh, set up, like, uh, hazards, whether it be rocks or spikes or something or toxic spikes, whatever the fuck they do. Um, so I'm just going to switch in my Azelf. Um, as he does go for the toxic spikes, and since I know he's going to try to get up a second layer, I am safe to go up for my rocks. So I managed to get rocks up on the side of the field and they are there to stay because he does not have any kind of rapid spinner on his team. So that's really good for me. Now right there I could have probably went for the psychic, but I did I wouldn't think that it will kill um, from that much health. So I'm just gonna U-turn out, get a little bit of damage on it, and then switch into my Rotom. And uh, he predicts that apparently and goes for the fucking ice beam. So that was a really good play by him. Really good play. Um, and now I'm going to stay in, go for the Willowist, because I know I can take another Ice Beam, but I missed the Willowist, which really sucks for me. So he is going to be able to hit me with a second Ice Beam. And uh, I think at this point, I'm just going to leave in Rotom to die. Um, or, or no, I don't. Do I? Do I leave it in to die right here? No, I don't. Actually, I actually I pained, I was going to pain split up because I wanted mo I wanted my HP back. But he's going to actually switch out, switch into his Chandelure to die. Just got to see what I'm going to do. And also to get a free switch into his uh, Raikou, which uh, I can't do anything against. And I see that he sets up a substitute with his Raikou, uh, which is pretty bad because it's a sub. That means he's a sub Calm Mind set, and I can't Pain Split. I can't really do anything except Leaf Storm to break his sub, and that's about all I can do. Obviously, he, pro he has a HP Ice. Um, I would assume. So uh, this is this is pretty bad. It's not really looking good, too good for me right now. So I'm just gonna go for the Leaf Storm just to break his sub, and then I think I'm gonna manually switch out here um, into Azelf, considering I do believe my Azelf can outspeed it and break his sub, and I can just go ahead and fodder off my Azelf because I don't necessarily need it anymore. Um, I could keep it for that um, Needle Queen, but I have I definitely have other Pokemon like Victini and stuff that can take on Needle Queen. So I figure, you know what, might as well just leave in A's up to die, but also to break his uh, sub on his Raikou, so then um, it won't be behind a fucking substitute, right? So does just that, it's going to take out my A's up, that's perfectly fine with me, perfectly fine, because I can switch into my Victini, and I'm just going to bluff that I have the Scarf, and uh, I'm just going to scare him out with a V Create, uh, obviously. But we all know that this is not a physical Victini, but this is a special Victini. So I don't carry V Create and I'm not scarfed. I'm Specs. I am going to go for the Psy Shock. He's going to bring in Empoleon just to you know sponge that hit, and he takes it very well because it's resisted, obviously. So uh, not wanting to take a Scald, I'm going to switch out, switch into my Rotom Cut, because uh, that's probably the best switch in for me, and I can scare him out with the potential uh, Volt Switch, obviously. 
And uh, he goes for the Scald, gets the burn, by the way, which really sucks. It's going to cut down my Rotom survivability by a little bit, you know, so um, kind of sucks. But now I'm going to predict the switch. Well, I knew he was going to switch out, but I just wanted to go for the will -Wisp anyway. And uh, he brings in Needle Queen, which I kind of figured he would bring in, predicting my Volt Switch. And I go for the will -Wisp, but I miss again. So I can't get any kind of residual damage on this freaking Needle Queen, and it's really bugging me. But uh, now I'm going to go for the Pain Split just to get a couple of HP back um, from that, uh, you know, from all them damn Ice Beams and Skulls and stuff that I took from his Pokemon. And um, I'm just going to um, try to dwindle down this Needle Queen's health while I uh, restore mine with Pain Split. And I, I want to get it down to a, a comfortable amount of HP to where something else can come in and revenge kill. And uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm pretty much farting off Rotom here. Um, probably not the best thing since I could still use it to kind of sort of cock block his, um, as you would say, uh, as I would say, cock block his uh, Raikou and possibly a Zoomerill or something. But I have Suicune for a Zoomerill though, so. But at the same time though, Rotom would probably be better. I don't know. But I'm just going to go for a final Leaf Storm to uh, bring down Needle Queen's HP to a low enough point to where my Heracross can come in and just revenge kill with a Megahorn. And uh, I mean, I, I mean, it's Choice Bandit, Guts Boosted. Stab Megahorn. That's that's overpowering right there. It's gonna obviously take out that Needle Queen from that much HP. And on Empoleon, it does 66%. That is over half, guys. That's resisted too. That's pretty fucking powerful if I do say so myself. So um, it almost takes it out. He is gonna hit me with the Scald. I don't. It doesn't even matter because it only does 50%. I knew it wouldn't kill because it looks like a more of a defensive Empoleon. Because he just because he has Scald over Surf and Hydro Pump and stuff, so um, second Mega Horn is gonna be able to take him out. And um, thank goodness I hit like all three of my Mega Horns. I think that was like three. Yeah, that was three. Thank goodness I hit all three of them. Cause I mean, really, man, if I missed, then that would have been a dead hair cross. But I mean, I still have Victini for that um, Empoleon and junk anyway. But uh, he's gonna bring in a Zumbril. I don't want to take an Aqua Jet, so I'm gonna switch into Suicune. Uh, that was pretty. That was a pretty weird play by me. I don't know why I actually switched into Suicune when I could have switched into Hitmontop. I guess I wanted to keep my Hitmontop as fresh for as long as possible, but I, I don't even know why the hell I did that. I could have just switched into Hitmontop right away, to be honest, really. But uh, I didn't. You know, I make dumb plays, and it doesn't even matter. Uh, really, I was switching into Suicune just to try to force out his Azumarill and uh, make him fr switch in his uh, Raikou or something. But um, apparently it didn't really work out too well. But until I switched and hit my top, now he switches out to Raikou, and I'm just gonna go for the Toxic, um, because because he, I mean, he could switch in Zatsu. Um, he could have switched in Zatsu. I really, it wouldn't even matter because I mean, I'm already poisoned anyway, so the the, the Toxic would have bounced back, but it wouldn't really been too important or too vital for him anyway. But um, he's just gonna stay in, go for the uh, T Bolt. He can't really substitute because if he subs. He's just going to be hurting himself from the Toxic, and uh, you can't really calm mind up because, again, he's poisoned. So, um, yeah, he can't really do anything. He's pretty much stuck, and he can't switch out because I do have my rocks up. So, um, at this point, I know he's going to try to attack me, so I'm just going to go for the Sucker Punch just to take out his Raikou. Um, because he couldn't, he can't calm mind because he'll die anyway. He can't substitute because he doesn't have enough HP to. So, he was pretty much forced to attack, so I pretty much, you know, took advantage of that, and, uh, yeah. So I let my I have to let my hit my top die that turn, but I mean, uh, at the same time though, I mean, hey, you know, I got I, I killed that fucking Raikou, so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, I bring a Suicune. I don't quite understand why I brought it in. Uh, I could have easily just brought in Victini right there and cleaned up the game. It, it would have been a 3-0, I guess, but I don't know. It it doesn't even matter. I don't even know. But uh, he's going to switch out as I bring in Victini. He's going to switch into Zatsu. And I'm just going to lock myself in on Thunder. I don't know why he brought in Zatsu. Because uh, Zatsu is not going to take that Thunder at all. It's just going to die. And then um, it pretty much all comes down to if my Victini can survive one Aqua Jet. And if I can hit my Thunder. So he goes for the Aqua Jet. I managed to survive. And now it all depends on if I hit my Thunder. And I hit the Thunder. So that is going to be good game 2-0. Um, if I didn't hit, if I didn't hit the thunder, then that would have definitely been his game because there would have been no way that um, Heracross or Big Team would have been able to come. I, there would have been no way I would have came back from that. So uh, that was good game. If you guys enjoyed, it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and um, stay tuned for my next PO battle where I face the OU team 
with this team. And um, yeah, peace.